1 Peter 3.8 tells us to be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate. So what does it mean to be compassionate? Well, there's a couple different ways we can apply this principle of compassion to one another. First of all, we're, we're to have long suffering with deep emotion towards one another. Let's face it, each one of you have experienced a time where the other person did something you didn't like. Maybe it was the way that the, the dishes got put away. Maybe it was the way something was organized. Maybe it was your ideas or plans for vacations. Maybe it was one of the ways that you corrected or didn't correct one of your kids. There are these times where one of us might do something that the other ones don't like. And, and what I've heard couples say to one another before is they'll say, I love you, but I don't always like you. And, and that's really somewhat of a, of a cancerous type of reaction or attitude to have because generally speaking, if I'm saying I don't like you, chances are my behavior towards you isn't coming across as very loving or very compassionate. We're to have long suffering for one another. But, but another principle that we are to practice with compassion is to have a tender heartedness towards each other. You know, think of this. Your, your spouse, your husband, your wife is your beloved. Song of Solomon chapter 3 verse 4 says, I have finally found the one for whom my heart loves, who my heart longs for. Your husband, your wife is the person that you pledged lifelong love and affection to. It's the person that you said you would cherish as long as you shall live. And so a way that we can practice of being compassionate towards one another is really just that. We don't need to overthink it. Be compassionate. Speak kindly. Speak gently towards one another. Some of you might say that you have the, the gift of sarcasm. I would, I would encourage you for the next week or two to just kind of put off sarcasm. Maybe just for a time. To, to speak kindly towards one another. Another way that we can practice being compassionate to each other is if you find yourself standing next to one another or sitting next to one another or you're, you're walking by one another, rub the other person's back. Hold their hand. Listen, we're not asking for some like grandiose displays of public affection here, right? You don't need to be all over each other in the middle of Target. Just enjoy being next to one another and demonstrate compassion towards one another. Oftentimes, these outward expressions of compassion towards one another will cause a tender and compassionate heart towards each other. Be compassionate towards each other.